This one thing is killing your A1C and time and range results. If you have type 1 diabetes, you're probably wondering why you can't seem to get the blood sugar control that you're after. Today's episode, I'm going to dive deep into the habits and the reasons why you're having a hard time getting your blood sugar under control, as well as what you can do. And it's all going to boil down to one simple shift. And before we get into that, let's get into our theme song. I've spent the last 10 years pushing the limits while identifying trends and patterns in my type 1 diabetes management. Follow along as I learn, apply, and share the fitness, nutrition, and lifestyle strategies that I've learned from diabetes experts around the world. The real question is, how can we live fearlessly with diabetes while maintaining stable blood sugars? This podcast is here to give you the answer. My name is Matt Vandevecht, head coach and co-founder of FTF Warrior, and welcome to Part of My Pancreas. All right, so today's lesson uh, might sting for a couple people watching, but I promise it's got a great ending and I promise you it will be useful if you can stick through. It's kind of like ripping a bandaid off. We're just going to dive right in. All right. Sound good? You're not going to be mad at me? All right, cool. So today I want to share a bit of a story of me re-entering the fitness space. I took some some time off. I uh, didn't think I was going to, but becoming a dad turns out uh, it actually takes a lot of your time, ever energy, effort, uh, mental capacity, all of the above. And found myself not going to the gym quite as often. Uh, and you know, a little bit of a shift in lifestyle there. And I decided, hey, I got to get back into it. I got to prioritize my fitness. I started jumping back in. You know, day one felt good, but didn't really see any results. Day two, uh, I'm hitting it as hard as I can and, and not really seeing the same impact on my body that I used to see when I was in college. You know, in college, I'd go work out once and then the vascularity would just pop up. You know, veins are popping. I look great. And I, instantly, it felt like my body had transformed. And these days, I go and do a full workout. I'm dead beat tired. I can hardly stand. My legs are just jello, uh, but I look the same. And I'm like, what the heck? Why am I not seeing these results right off the bat, right? And oftentimes, I, I hear similar stories with people living with type 1 diabetes. And I'll be honest, I've been guilty of this in the past as well, where I start working on my blood sugars, right? I start counting my carbs. I did the pre-bolus and maybe it works once, but it, it just doesn't work consistently. And I'm looking at these results like, is this even worth it? You know, I counted my carbs and I still went high or I tried to go for a run to lose some weight, but I, I went low and I had to drink a whole juice box and I, I consumed more calories than I burned. And it's this story we tell ourselves that it's just not worth it because I didn't see results on day one. And see, a lot of people will tell themselves, like, I want to be rich, right? I want to lose weight. I want to be healthier. I want to have more knowledge and be smarter. But the reality is your bank account is a lagging measure of your financial status. Your weight is a lagging measure of your fitness input or your efforts, right? Your knowledge is a lagging effort of your studying abilities. And so if we look at this thing in a different light, whether it's with fitness, right, where I've been trying to put some work in but didn't see the results right away and got mad, or with your blood sugars where you might try carb counting, pre-bolusing, uh, trying to dial in your basal ratios or rates, right? But it just feels like you're defeating. Uh, and so as a result, we look at the, the lacking indicators and lose momentum. We lose motivation because it's, it's not showing up on day one. But if you went to somebody and you said, hey, I noticed that you're trying to lose weight. And they said, I know. I went to the gym today and I haven't lost the 50 pounds yet. You look at them like, well, duh, idiot. <laughs> right of course you're not going to lose 50 pounds in a day but oftentimes this is how we treat our diabetes right we look at our diabetes and we're like dude i i counted the carbs i took the insulin and it didn't work well yeah it's day one like you just started trying this thing right and so what we look at instead is we want to find the lead indicator so if the bank account is a lag indicator of your financial status if your weight is a lag indicator of your fitness habits right if your knowledge is a lag indicator of your mental capacities and your studying input what are the lead indicators going to look like so instead of looking at the lag indicator of the scale we're going to use weight as an example for this one instead of looking at the scale as should i keep doing this or not we are going to look at the habits that form the lag indicators so what leads into the scale shifting what leads into weight loss well it's going to be consistency in your exercise routines and the right choices in the kitchen right eating the right types of foods and when those two things are focused on 
consistently, right? Then we start to see the results. But first we have to do the right things, build the right habits, focus on the right lead indicators in order to accomplish the lag indicator of weight loss, seeing it on the scale. Right. So when we look at our A1C, for example, this is a beautiful example, a perfect correlation. We look at our A1C, we start trying. Sometimes it's even a couple of weeks. We know the endo appointments coming up two, three weeks from now. Okay. Now is the time to start pre bolusing. Now is the time to start documenting my blood sugars and taking the right amount of insulin, actually counting my carbs. Three weeks later, you get to your endo appointment. Fingers crossed. What's the A1C come back at? the exact same as it was before. What? Nothing works. Oh my gosh. And we lose our minds, right? We've been trying our best for three weeks straight. But remember that the A1C is a three month average, right? And because it's a three month average, three weeks of effort in comparison to the three months that they're measuring means next to nothing. You have to continue showing up for three months straight in order to see a three month average show up with the results that you were expecting. So we're focusing on the lag indicators here. We're looking at the end result, like why didn't the three month average change when I put three weeks of effort in? When instead we need to be focusing on the lead indicators. What are the habits that I have to build into my life consistently and continue showing up consistently with those habits in order to achieve the lag indicators, the lag results, which is, of course, the improved A1C, the improved time and range, the better control over blood sugars. It does not happen overnight. I want to add a caveat in here as well. I know a lot of people listening are like, well, it doesn't happen overnight because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sure if I worked with you, Matt, that you would show me how to do it overnight. No, (laughs) the reality is nobody's going to fix everything overnight. Diabetes is incredibly complicated. It really is. It's not just an insulin to carb ratio. It's an insulin to carb ratio in relation to your activity, in relation to your fat and protein consumption, in relation to your sleep, your stress, your hydration, other medications, other conditions. There's so many things that impact our blood sugars. And yes, I can help you to master these things and to get it as close to automated as possible. Like that's the end result, right? Control blood sugars so you can feel normal again. Go play sports, eat the good foods, live your best life. But that's not going to happen overnight. Just like I can't help somebody lose 50 pounds overnight without cutting off limbs, right? Like that's the only thing, or I guess a surgery might suffice. But if we're looking at getting long lasting results, we have to start putting in long term habits. We have to make big changes in our lives. It can't just be three weeks of pre bolusing, it has to be a lifetime of pre bolusing. It has to become part of who you are. And when it becomes part of who we are, that's when we are able to accomplish these great accomplishments. You know, you've seen stories probably of some of my clients who've achieved 100% time and range for three months straight. I'll be honest with you, that's better than I've been able to accomplish. <laughs> I've, I've still tried to accomplish the one week of 100%, let alone three months. But those are the things that are possible. And this client that achieved that, or my other clients who've achieved, you know, 4.8 A1Cs next to normal blood sugars, couldn't even tell they were diabetic if you looked at their CGM reports. That's because they showed up consistently and built the habits necessary to see those lag indicators, the end results. You don't get the 4.8 overnight, right? Time and range, you're not going to accomplish three months of 100% overnight because it's three months, right? You're starting to see what I'm trying to say here. And so to give you back the other example with the weight loss, right? If you're looking at the scale, day one, day two, day three, you're not going to see any results. You're not going to see any changes. Even though you're putting the work in, you're building the habits, it's going to feel like you're not getting where you want to go and that it's useless, that you're gonna stop and lose motivation because why even try if my efforts are not yielding any progress, any results? But the reality is you're burning fuel. You're starting to make progress behind the scenes. Your body is truly transforming, but that transformation takes progress. And when you focus on the lag indicator, the end result, right? You're gonna lose momentum long before you see any real results in your real life. So instead of focusing on the lag indicators, on the things that take days, weeks, months, sometimes years to show up, instead focus on the lead indicators. What are the habits that I need to focus on day in and day out to start seeing results in the long term and fall in love with that process? When you can fall in love with the process that will get you to the goal, it doesn't matter how far off the goal is because you're going to consistently show up until that goal 
comes around either way right and i'll tell you this too uh it's not that diabetes is something we can fix overnight and we just don't there, there is no magic pill that you can take uh this is something that takes a long time to figure it out even if you have an expert like myself walking you through the process holding your hand through every step of the way to get blood sugars figured out it still takes you know weeks if not months to get this stuff figured out and really truly fine-tuned because of how complex these blood sugars are right even when you are obsessed and doing trial and error daily researching nightly and spending every ounce of your energy on diabetes and blood sugars it still will take time it took me two years when I was obsessed over blood sugars, literally every single day. I had to quit my job because I was so obsessed. It was unhealthy. It truly was. But I want you to understand that timeline. When I still focused on the lead indicators, the right things, building the habits, doing the research, putting the work in day in and day out to an unhealthy extent, it still took me two freaking years to get blood sugars to where they are now. And I'm gonna give you an example of what the lag indicator looks like. So you know what not to focus on, but also to show you what is possible, right? Now this is my 90 day average, okay? Yes, it says 94%. 94% of my time over the last 90 days was in range, all right? As a lag indicator, because it's a 90 day average, it will take more than 90 days to accomplish that result. Right. If it's a 90 day average, do you think that one day is going to make a big difference? No, <laughs> it's going to be more than 90 days to accomplish an average of 94 percent or greater. Now, your 90 day average might look a little bit different. OK, that's where you're at currently, but that's not what you're focusing on to build momentum, to build motivation. You need to focus on the end result. Yes, but more importantly, focus on today. What can you do today? and build habits around that to make them routine, remain disciplined in those lead indicators so that you can eventually accomplish that lag indicator that you are pushing towards. Same thing with weight loss. You don't go to the gym once and assume you're gonna be shredded tomorrow. You know, Lose all the weight, build the muscle, look amazing. It's gonna take weeks, months, sometimes years to eat the right foods, do the right workouts and build the right habits in order to accomplish that scale, that award, that, that result that you've been after this whole time. All right, so today I want you to focus on the lead indicators. What are the habits that you can build surrounding your diabetes management so that you can eventually accomplish the lag indicator? But do not put so much of your attention on the lag indicator, the A1C, the time and range, the smooth CGM lines that you see me and my clients sharing, because that's going to make you burn out. You're going to think, I can never accomplish this. I've been trying this thing for days, weeks, months, and I can't figure it out. You're focusing on the wrong thing. If you focus on the lead indicators, just start building habits, building routines, focusing on your discipline and analyzing your blood sugar, putting the work in up front, it's going to move you towards that goal. It's going to help you to build momentum, build progress towards your goal. And in that moment, you'll start to see results. You'll start to see that progress over the course of weeks, months, years. And of course, if you are looking for a faster process, yes, we walk people through this every single day. Yes, we help people accomplish their goals in a shorter time horizon, but it still takes work. There will still be effort that you have to push and you will still have to focus on the lead indicators. But that's what we help people do is to, to scrunch down that time horizon so that it doesn't take years upon years of frustration, danger and unfortunate events. Right. We can walk you through a safe and proven process that you've taken hundreds of people through. Now, if that's something that you're looking for guidance on, you know, finding the right lead indicators to focus on, and of course, walking through that process in a shorter time horizon, that's something we specialize in. But before you can even apply to work with us, you do have to watch a training to make sure it matches up with what you're looking for, right? We're not the best fit for everyone. I can tell you that up front. Not everyone's a good fit for us, and we're not a good fit for everyone. The reason for that, we put people through an intense program. There's a reason it works so well. It's a reason that it works so fast. And if it's not your style, that's okay. I don't want you to force yourself into this. If you've got a different path you can take, that's great. But if you are somebody who is analytical, who values precision in blood sugar management, wants to know how to stabilize blood sugars, yes, but also how to predict 
where blood sugars are going to go and have confidence in their diabetes management, then I invite you to watch that training to pre-qualify, see if this is something that fits in your goal set, right? If you're, if you're looking for that guidance, go over to diabetesinaction.com. And that program is not mislabeled, right? Diabetes in action. You do have to take action in order to accomplish those lag indicators, right? You have to start working towards that goal with the lead indicator. So if you're looking to do that and you're looking for guidance to see if this is a good fit for you, go watch that training. It's completely free. There are nuggets in there that you can take away. Take good notes. See if you can take action even on your own. That's great too. I'd be happy for you if you took that and ran with it, right? But go to diabetesinaction.com. Sign up, watch the free training, see if it's for you. And uh, I truly hope that you can start shifting your focus over towards the right things so you can start seeing the better A1C, the better time and range, the better stability with your blood sugars so you can start living your best life and not be held back by type 1 diabetes. It takes time, it takes effort, but I know that you're the right kind of person for this who is ready to thrive with your diabetes. All right, start focusing on the right things. Find your lead indicators, build them into habits, and make progress. I believe in you. So head over to diabetesinaction.com. If you have not yet, be sure to subscribe. We put these videos up every single week. I hope this one helps. I hope it was valuable for you. I'll see you next week. Have an amazing rest of your day and keep up the fight.